Um, the biggest difference that I've discovered is that um, in the early hours of the morning when I get up, normally I would be not I wouldn't be able to walk easily to the bathroom. Um, in fact, in many cases at home I'd have to crawl from the bed to the bathroom. Um, but I've noticed over the last um, three or four days I've been able to walk quite easily from the bath from the bed to the bathroom with large steps. It's no problem. You mean after the after the IV treatment? Yes. Okay. yes I, I have had no injection yet. Okay. So it's just been the uh, the the uh, stem cell proliferation treatment, okay. which I've had for nearly a week now. I would be very very unsteady, very unsure of myself, yeah. and this leg would I'd get it, it would lock out, and then this one would stand here and wouldn't, wouldn't move. And if I managed to get going, it would be sort of yeah. very. And sometimes at home, yeah. I normally get out of bed and actually get onto the floor. Like this, right. yeah. Well, we've got a carpet on the floor, so the least of this here. And then I pull myself along to the end of the bed, uh -huh. and then get up, straight to the door, and then get into the bathroom that way. But I find it easier to get onto the floor and almost crawl than than walk because it, my medication at that time has worn off. So can you show us uh, what's the problem of your channel body? Well, I mean that would be I'd sort of get there and I I'd be straining and forward trying to get the legs to, to turn and they, they would, it's just sticking. Just sticking? Sticking, whichever, yeah. which, whichever way I like to go. Okay. It would stick, always be a problem. Okay. If, again, if my medication is off, yeah. um, I find difficulty in writing, um, doing most things with my hands really, that, that require dexterity. And my hands will shake if I try to unpeel a, a wrapper or something like that. Or I, I, I would or even getting out my medication, I would ask, I have to ask my wife to open the, the tube because okay. my fingers are all... After you take medication, there's no problem to do it. After I take, you know, once my Parkinson's medications are, are working, then, <sighs> frankly, I can do most things. Okay. But um, the, the problem is that the medication only lasts for a certain time, and those times are shrinking, um, and so that's why I'm here. Okay, so how many times of your medication do you take every day? I, I split my medication into four times. doses. Um, okay. So first thing in the morning, maybe 7, 7, 7, 30, and then sort of the three and a half hour intervals up to that. When I first started the medication, it would usually last for about five hours, but it's gone down to sort of four or almost three and a half um, before I came out to, to China. Yeah. Um, and now it lasts longer. It's uh, it's about the same actually at the moment, but I can it, it, I can see it gradually uh, extending. I, I really can because um, the whole system is, is seeming to respond quite well.